All right, what's up, guys? It's Donnie. I'm going to show you guys how to make an electronic drum kit out of shit from the street or just shit you got lying around the old house. So technically, this isn't just for anyone. You're going to need a few things beforehand, like Pro Tools or another DAW. Um, Steven Slight Trigger. Uh, an interface with three or more inputs, bud. The idea is simple. You're just going to be miking up random things that send a signal to trigger, and that's going to assign drums to them. But the key... And the whole point of it is to find things that are actually kind of enjoyable and like playable. And you can kind of make them semi-permanent. I can't be the only person like this, but over the years I've just collected so many, so many mics that they're, they're half broken or they sound like garbage and they don't, they don't do anything for me anymore. If you're legitimately interested in doing this from the ground up, just go to the friggin' secondhand store. And you can buy like karaoke machine mics for like two bucks. You're just gonna be duct taping the shit out of them. Just strapping them up on random things anyway so just get her going i'm gonna keep this really simple i don't want to do anything too crazy so i just want a kick drum a snare drum and then some sort of third thing that i can use as hats or ride or crash or whatever i assign it to assign it to so this thing's wicked me and dave drinking a couple beers the other night i guess on our way home we picked this thing up definitely didn't have this in mind but i pick it up and i'm like wow like you prop it against the wall a certain way kick at it with the kick pedal and like it has the exact same response as a kick drum it's not flying around the place so for the hats and the ride or whatever i'm going to be using just my rack tom stand alternative for that uh that wolf wolf pack video where he's using the the floor lamp genius genius use one of those snare drum sample just my my drum stool alternative uh I don't know, a, a box or a book or something. Something that you can keep relatively permanent, you know, it doesn't move around, doesn't doesn't bounce around. I always drum on my drum seat, so it's it's good to go. I got my three things. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mic these beauties. This thing is gonna be too loud, so I'm probably gonna put like a sock or a t-shirt on it. These guys are fine. Like if you buy a Yamaha and it's not plugged in, like, Look at how neat this is. Just wraps the cable naturally and everything. Like, boom. This one's gonna be super straightforward. Try and get the mic closest to the point of contact, I guess, because remember that you're not using the sound that the mic is picking up. You literally just need it for a signal. You could be hitting the actual mic itself and it doesn't matter because you're just, you're just taking that transient, bud. As Soon as this comes off, look at that. Sock, boom, I even have one right here because it took my socks off because it's a little hot in the old room that is fucking beauty so this one might be the toughest the toughest one yet because i got to find a way to rig one of these mics up onto it and find a way to make it oh, macgyver it done a little tape Good thing I have another clip on mic. I don't know if it works though, but we'll find out in testing. Sweet, so that's on there. That's looking good. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got it rigged up, but I had to make a couple more adjustments, added more socks to the hat thing uh, because it was really freaking loud, the metal thing, obviously. Just took it for a spin and it works hilariously well. So I'm gonna show you guys like the real, the real time audio and then the, uh, what I'm getting in the Pro Tools.
Cool, so this is what the audio looks like. I basically have the snare track clipping, but that doesn't matter, right? Because you're just sending signal to trigger. Pretty simple, there's no reason why this shouldn't work, actually. And then you can just adjust the uh, the detail, sensitivity, and the re-trigger to try and get some of those ghost notes and stuff. So there you have it, thanks for watching. Um, that's my DIY project for the year. Probably last year I made an air conditioner, this year I made a drum set. Um, believe in yourself, do great things. Um, and always, uh, just get her going. Just get her going, guys. Oh. I'm going to be ripping this all night, probably. The Don Kit. Affordable. Responsive. Punchy.